Bruce Wayne's birthday weekend. We're actually going to a new gym today. Upstate Empire Fitness. Bruce Wayne's never been in there. He's gonna get to meet some people, eat some people, and check out the new merch we got going on. Ring my dingaling. It's like I always say. We have a bunch of new merch. Just check out the merch box down below. We got raw dog tees. We got ring my dingaling tees. Now let's go see how Bruce Wayne does in a new gym. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I want to cuddle with you on my couch. That's all he does. That's all he wants to do. That's <laughs> his birthday. <laughs> Tom, this is Kara and her husband Jason. How you doing? The eyes are like sweet as the eye. Oh, that's a good boy. You're 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 a My face is just covered in slime. Yes, it is. See that slobby face. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I told one of the guys, I was like, that's a dog Batman with that. <laughs> really? You said that? Yep. That's amazing. Good boy, Bruce Wayne. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> Don't throw in the kids though, no, bud. That's <laughs> all no? Huh? Do you mind I'm filming? Oh yeah, no, that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> she barked at the person walking up behind her. Aww. <laughs> so Bruce did super good in the gym today. New gym, new location, extremely busy, very loud. But it's funny because even though he did really good, we had him on the state command as per usual. Everybody was loving up on Bruce wanting to meet him. Um, so it's always it's always fun for us to see too. But you, you'll notice he's on way, 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 way higher alert. Um, so for example, when he's at Crunch Fitness with us in Syracuse, he's there all the time. He's there typically once, twice a week. Mm -hmm. He recognizes people there. He recognizes how things smell. So yes, he's looking around and on alert, but you guys will notice at this gym, because he's never been before, he's never seen these people before, he's still sitting there on a stay command, but he's on way higher alert. When he turns his head, instead of like just looking, it's like quick jerky movements. Mm -hmm. Everything, somebody walks by, he looks at them quick. Um, so it's just interesting to see. He's gonna be exhausted today just because of how hard he had to focus. For sure. You know, he's, he's on higher alert, He's focusing much more, more mental stimulation. He's gonna be a tired birthday boy. And now we're gonna go buy ourselves some guns. Bruce Wayne's about to get to see some fire trucks. Bruce Wayne's birthday, we're going all out. Take him to the fire department so we can see the big red fire trucks. Smell around and just get more socialized. He's never been in the fire department before. So I'm sure there's gonna be tons of different things to smell, look at different sounds, there's probably gonna be CB radios going off and he's gonna be curious at what that is. So it's just gonna be interesting to see how he takes to everything. Also, f funny fact, look at that super old Canadian dry sign. That's amazing. Anytime he goes somewhere new, within five minutes, he feels that's his place. <laughs> yeah, he has to guard it. It'll be interesting to see if he feels that he needs to guard the fire department. Let's go. Hi. Hi, it's your birthday weekend, is that what I hear? <laughs> What a good birthday. What a good birthday weekend. Bruce Wayne loved the fire department. He got super comfortable there. Walked in, met up with Brian, one of our friends. He's a firefighter there. They just stayed in the in their seats. Bruce Wayne, I just had them on the stay sit command, let them kind of get adjusted. Then we got to go in, we got to look at the fire trucks, 
Brian gave us a little bit of a tour. We let Bruce Wayne smell everything. It's funny because Bruce Wayne, every time somebody would walk by, because the he had the fire trucks in the garage and the garage door was open. Every time somebody walked by that garage door, Bruce Wayne's hair would go up and he'd start barking. He thinks he had ownership of the fire department and he had to protect it. And now we're taking Bruce Wayne to get some coffee. Actually, we're, Bruce Wayne can't drink coffee, but Karen and I can drink coffee. So we're gonna go get ourselves some coffee. And while we're getting coffee, you should get yourself a Ring My ding -a -ling t t-shirt. Have you done that yet? Have they done that yet? Not Have yet. you done that yet? That. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Bring my dangling team is saying to his videos on Kanye Courses or Bruce Wayne. And on that note, he's laying down. Bruce Wayne continues to Big Brother Norman and <laughs> basically ignore him. Yes. He's like, I'm too cool for you. You jump at me, I'm just gonna ignore you and keep peeing on things. Bro, what's the matter? He ain't happy seeing you? I'm happy seeing you. You don't jump on me though. <laughs> See how quick he responds to a growl? That's a good boy. That's how you should behave, not jumping on him. Jump on him, he may eat you. Save me a little bit of money and food. Good boy, Norman. You're what, about four days worth of food? You don't want to get ran in by him. How do you feel like Norman's energy is as a puppy compared to Bruce's? I'd say it's about double. Yeah, I think Norman's definitely got more. Is there any golden retriever owners out there? I'm curious what your um, puppy energy was like. Because this dude <laughs> has probably quadrupled the amount of steps that we have because he's just running in circles. Back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> And yeah. Bruce is completely big brothering Norman, just ignoring him, not giving him the attention that he wants. Just like what I tell everyone else training their dogs. Yeah. Don't give him attention every single second of the day because you're gonna cause a monster. Bruce Wayne, we're turning around here, let's go. So essentially, Bruce Wayne's walking through every single puddle. <laughs> so Bruce Wayne is doing what I tell everyone to do when you have a puppy. Don't give them the constant attention they want because what will happen, you create a monster. Right. It will never stop. You give a dog an inch and they take a mile. Dude, race right the puddle. Race right the puddle. Don't Norman. <laughs> Bro, chill. Oh, okay. So You can keep going, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Good boy, Norman. Good boy, Bruce Wayne. So basically Bruce Wayne knows just instinctively how to act around a dog. So <laughs> that kind of behavior Bruce isn't into right now. So he's not giving Norman what he wants. If he gives Norman what he wants, Bruce knows that Norman's going to be very demanding 24 seven. He's already very demanding. So it's just kind of interesting to see how Bruce Wayne handles a puppy and kind of follows the advice I give everyone. Right, you he know? does. You know, you kind of got to hold your love back on your dogs, guys, sometimes, and make them earn that reward. Make them earn your love and respect instead of just giving in to them all the time. It truly makes the world of a difference when you have a dog. Bruce Wayne is telling me right now he wants to play this alligator. But first, because it's Big Dude's birthday weekend, I'm partially cooking part of his food. The beef, I'm keeping raw. For real, I'm not cooking his beef. I'm going to sear up his, uh, his turkey for him. You hungry? Want some food? Nap time with Bruce Wayne. After a long day. He looks huge next to you. He's bigger than me. I know. He should look huge. But it's just funny to see you two laying next to each other. What's that, Dad? Food's ready. I had to check it out. Food's ready. I think it's pretty safe to say that Big Dude had a pretty good birthday Saturday. His birthday's March 1st. Everyone wish Mr. Bruce Wayne a happy birthday. Bruce did really good in a lot of different situations today, babe. He did great. New gym, a very busy gym with people surrounding him, especially at first. You wanna mention we were asked to bring him to? Yes, we were at, again, him. we're gonna get, how'd you get to bring Bruce Wayne in the gym? It's like we were asked to bring him into the gym, guys. Everyone loves Bruce Wayne. Babe. I know he's falling asleep. He's so tired. Aww. He's so tired. He got to go to a gym. He got to see firefighters. He got to go see fire trucks. 
He went to guard the fire station. You have a belly full of meats and you just Norman. got to see Norman. He just wishes I would stop talking so he could just go to bed. And there's no secret, guys, to how we got Bruce Wayne this way. It was just a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort, consistency, being on the same page. Do you know how many times I get, I get told, you shouldn't have to ask your wife if you want a Connie Corso. You should just get it. Man up. It's like, life don't work like that, people. Everyone in the house has to be on the yeah, same page. Yeah, no. Everyone has to be on the same page. Or you're not going to have that super obedient, well-trained dog that you want. Because guess what? You can't look after that dog 24-7. Your wife or husband or kids are going to have to watch it after that dog sometimes. If you're looking for help training, as always, check out the course in the description, guys. There's a puppy training course, there's a canine boot camp course, there's a raw feeding course. You can bundle them all together, save a butt ton of money, and if you do that, you get a course specifically on Kanye Corsos as well. With that said, I'm going to let Bruce Wayne relax. He is pooped out. He had a very long day. He was in the car for a few hours. Yeah. You know, he went to all these different places. He actually had to sit in the car for about an hour when we're in a store. Yeah, he did. Yep. Close to an hour. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it here. Guys, please uh, comment down below how much you love Bruce Wayne. He wants to see all those birthday comments. He's four, and that will be it for this vlog. All right, guys, talk to you later. Peace.